praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us rock of ages. We thank you. We appreciate you for another opportunity. We so appreciate everlasting King of Glory for keeping us. We want to thank you for enriching our soul with your word every time. Thank you, our Father in heaven, for all the testimonies we have been recorded over time. As far as this broadcast is concerned, we want to thank you, our Father in heaven. For we know you have a place where you're taking us to. We want to thank you, Father in heaven, because indeed we will surely reach there. Thank you, Father, for giving us the insight to who our enemy is. And this is giving us the opportunity of knowing how and when to fight. Thank you, Father, because victory is us already. I want to bless you. Accept our praises, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And today, Lord God of Israel, as we listen to your word once again, we pray that you will enrich our soul. Amen. You will help us, O oh God, and build us out from the grief <clears throat> and the enslavement of our enemies in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everlasting King of glory. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, have you prayed. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we want to thank God again for another opportunity and the grace given to us. Uh, if you remember, you see that last week we were here on the screen and uh, we, there is a particular topic we treat in Ongran that has to do with a question historically asked. <clears throat> this is the question. <clears throat> Who is our enemy? Uh, for the past two weeks, I've been telling us uh, who our enemy is. If you don't forget this one, I told us very many things about who our enemy is. Those people who are working against the fulfillment of our destiny here on earth are our enemy. I told us that it's that particular neighbor who will never see anything good in what you do. He or she is our enemy. The boss who will never want you to get to that you know, great place in, in, in your place of work. Who will never want anything good to feature in your life. Who is also, who is always an enemy of your promotion and lifting. I said, he is your enemy. I've mentioned very many areas where you can easily identify your enemies. And I stopped last week at this point that your enemy is an entity sponsoring warfare in your life. Anyone causing trouble and problem in your life. Someone who is, you know, fashioning out problems, you know, fighting warfare in your life. I said such is your enemy. By the grace of God, I'm going to continue from where we stopped last week today. I want to say, or ask that question again, that who is our enemy? I know it is very, very essential to know who your enemy is. This will help you, number one, to identify easily your enemy. Number two, you will be able to Know the best way to fight your enemy. To all my viewers outside, I pray that your enemy will not take advantage over your life. Enemy will not conquer you and you will not die Amen. in the battle of your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Who is your enemy? I say your enemy is the power. Keeping your talent in the satanic cooler. Your talent being kept in the satanic cooler. And who is this person? Keeping your talent in the satanic cooler is your enemy. You have that talent. Something that will show you, you know, to the generality of the world, something that will cause you to be accepted, to acceptable rather, you know, by everyone, something that will cause you to become a celebrity. But if that thing is being taken away from you, have been kept somewhere in the cooler of the world, then who is the one that have done this in your life? He or she is your enemy. 
You have something in your life that will have made a way for you in the journey of your destiny. But it's been caged by somebody that has been put in the cooler of the wicked ones. The man or the woman who, do, who does this is your enemy. I was for that to say that who is your enemy? And I say your enemy is the power promoting your delay in any life area. Anyone who is promoting your delay, who will not want that good thing to flow into your life quickly? Well, you will still make it in life, but not now. Well, you will be, still be lifted, you still be promoted, but not now. You will marry, but not yet. At the age of 27, at the age of 30, at the age of 40, you will still get married, but not yet. Not now. You see, the admission will still come after three, four, five years of leaving your secondary school with good results. You've written, you know, jump. Three, four, five, six, jump, but no admission to the university. Though you will still gain admission to that university, but not yet. After your marriage, you will still have a child, but not now. After three, four, five, six, seven years of marriage, you are expecting a child to come, the fruit of the womb, but it's not forthcoming. The man in charge of this one, the entity in charge of this, the power in charge of this, is what I call your enemy. The one delay you to be your own landlord on time. After your 5, 10, 15 years you know, as a tenant in a landlord house, a power is still telling you that, well, you won't be a landlord, you won't be a landlady, but not now. That man who is saying, that one day you will have your own car. You won't be following Okada or Cab any longer. But it's telling you after 15, 20 years of your working, it's telling you that one day you will still be a owner of your, of your car. But not now. That power promoting your delay is your enemy. I said here again that who is your enemy? It is the power sponsoring affliction and trouble in your life. Power troubling or you know, sponsoring affliction in your life. He is your enemy. I want us to look at a place in the Bible. In the book of Psalm number 62, I want to read from verse 1, possibly I will run into verse 4. From verse 1, Psalm number 62, from verse 1. Is that truly? My soul waited upon God. From him cometh my salvation. Verse 2. He said, He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Okay? Verse 13 says, I mean, 3 says, uh, How long? Will ye imagine mischief against a man? How long? Will ye imagine mischief, calamity, chaos, trouble against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you. As a body war, you know, shall ye be, and as a torturing fence. Look at verse 4. He said the only concern to cast him down. From his excellency. They consult. They only consult. To cast him down. From his excellency. They delight in lies. You see? They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth. But they curse inwardly. They bless with their mouth. They praise with their mouth. But inwardly, within them, they cause. I am praying for somebody over there. If your amen can be loud, enemy will not conquer you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'm praying that you will not fall prey, you know, to the trap of your enemy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those who are blessing with their mouth, but within them, they are causing. 
And to everyone who don't really understand what is going on in the, in, in the spiritual world, they echo amen to the cause of their enemy, hoping that the blessing, I mean, they receive a blessing from them. I am praying the cause of your enemy will not manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I move further to ask who is your enemy? Power making you to lose your property. Power causing you to look to lose your belongings. And we hear from you know from the news. People losing their own house. People losing their cars. You see, at times we will be told that we hear from the news that a house got bought. A landlord will later turn to become a tenant. When you lose a child, when you lose your husband, when you lose your wife, when you lose your house, you lose your job, you lose your properties. It is the work of your enemies. The one who is behind, you know, this scenario, who is behind these occurrences and happening is your enemy. Today, the Lord God will stop every activity of your enemy. In your life and in your household in Jesus' name. Amen. Who is that enemy of yours? The power making your problem to become stronger. It is the power, the entity, making your problem, your trouble to become stronger and stronger. That's your enemy. You see, you're praying over a single trouble, a single challenge, a single problem. Rather than for that single trouble or problem to disappear, another one come to join it. So, it, it quickly makes life to become unbearable for the victim. It makes him to be tired of life quickly. And who is behind this? He is your enemy. She is your enemy. Who is your enemy? See the question. The power causing failure at the edge of your success. The power retarding your spiritual growth. It is the power causing failure at the edge of breakthrough. You've been laboring and working over something and it seems it, it remains very little for you to get into the fulfillment. To get to your season, your time, your period of celebration. And something just happened. And you are not able to get to that place any longer. Just like the journey of the Israelites to the Canaan land. It's a pity when they got to Kadesh Barnea. Three days from Kadesh Barnea to that promised land. A particular spirit of power came to attack the Israelites in that particular spot called Kadesh Barnea. And they turned back. They came back to that particular spot at the 38 years. The 38 years of their turning from that place, Kadesh Barnea, they went astray. There's a power, there's a spirit doing this in their life. And who is that power? It's the enemy to the Israelite. You have been turning, you have been working, you have been laboring, you have been suffering. To get something. Little time for you to get to the achievement of that thing. And people will rally around you and celebrate with you. You just discover that the whole thing turned upside down. And you are not able to achieve it. The power doing this in your life is your enemy. Over years I've been praying for a marriage. And a man came by the grace of God. I've seen your pastor. I've seen your parent. Few months. To your wedding day, the man told you he's no longer doing it. The sister told you he's no longer interested in, in marrying you. You know, working out shame and ridicule for you. What is the power of doing this? That is the power of your enemy. You've been told after toiling for years, looking for a job. You were called for a particular job. Few days for you to resume. In that place of work, a message was sent to you that they no longer need your service in that place. The one behind this one 
is your enemy. Who is your enemy? I said, is that thing, is that power? Retarding your spiritual growth. Several years you are there. We didn't see any good thing coming out of your life. Especially in the spiritual aid. You, you can't pray for 30 minutes, you're tired. You gave your love to Jesus Christ every year. You can't fast. You can't pray. It, it becomes a difficult thing for you to engage yourself in the religion. You can't preach to people to receive Christ. You see your life at the bottom part of the spiritual south. It, 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 looking at you, you are not growing spiritually. But you're counting years. The power doing this one in your life is your enemy. I said it's your enemy. That is the power blocking you from receiving a baptism of Holy Ghost. The power not allowing you to enter into that pool. Into that pool of power of the Holy Ghost. The power is your enemy. Over here, you are done in that church. But you can't speak in tongues. Over here, you're counting years. You see, in that particular place of watching, you cannot speak in tongues. It's very difficult and, 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 and not really easy for you to pray, to receive. Why? Because an enemy is walking against you. So the power behind this is your enemy. So power sinking the boat of your destiny. The power that is sinking the boat of your destiny is your enemy. The power is your enemy. I can say who is your enemy. The power carrying out his instruction to destroy your chances. Power carrying out instructions. They instruct them to attack you. They instruct them to destroy good things in your life. They instruct them to be in charge of your, of your case. So that life will be so difficult for you. So that you will not be able to fall your head in life. So that it will be so difficult for you to make it in life. He or she is your enemy. That spirit, that power, that kingdom is your enemy. Who is your enemy? Is it the power affecting your divine speed in any area of your life. The power that will not allow you to move at a good and excellent speed to your place of destiny is your enemy. The power making you achieve little for much effort. You labor much, but you gain little. The power behind this scenario, the power behind this experience, rather, is your enemy. I remember my experience year back, several years back. I went into farming and I labor. I know that I really labor. People around me knew that I really labor. But when it was it was it was a time for me to to to, to harvest, I couldn't harvest. I couldn't harvest much. It was little I was able to grow. The power that this this that did this in my life is my enemy. Power that allows you to labor on your children. By the time they grow up and they become something, they forget you. They don't, they don't want to hear anything you know about you any longer. The power doing this in your life is your enemy. Who is your enemy? Power making you to achieve little for much effort. It is the power that waits for you at the gate of your entrance to your promised land and quickly build a wall of Jericho against you. When the power knew that you are about entering into your place of destiny, they quickly supersonically you know, build a world of entrance so that you will not easily enter into that promised land. That is your enemy. Your enemy is the power promoting complicated problems in your life. 
the power complicating problems in your life, promoting, you know, problems in your life is your enemy. Before I round off for today, again, I want to tell you, the power opposing your testimonies is your enemy. They don't want to see you, you know, testifying. It is when God, you know, fight for you and uh, you're able to achieve good things. You want to tell people, this is what God did in my life. Praise the Lord God with me, people of God. But the enemy who hates your, your testimony is your enemy. Anyone hating your testimony will never have good testimony in life in Jesus' name. Amen. The power turning you to a spiritual bat. Power turning you to a spiritual bat. They block your, you know, spiritual ear. They block your spiritual eye. You don't be able to see. You don't be able to hear. Then you remain like a dandy. No good thing will come into your life because you don't know anything. You'll be able to see spiritually. You'll not be able to hear spiritually. You become a spiritual bat. The enemy doing this is your enemy. Who is your enemy? Is the power downgrading your spiritual life. The power that brings you down is your enemy. <coughs> you can still remember from where I just read to us. Verse 4 says, they only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly. You see, the only part of it says, they only consult to cast him down from his excellency. You be somebody yesterday, but today they bring you down to become nobody. Nothing. The power doing this one is the power of your enemy. Well, I may love to stop here today again. I want us to know and easily identify those that are enemies. Then we'll pray against them. Once again, before I go this week, I pray for you that your enemy will not become your master. Amen. Your enemy will not conquer you. Amen. Enemy will not take good things away from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to close your eyes as you pray again. Number one prayer point I want you to pray to the Lord God. Lord, deliver me from every enemy that is working against my fulfilling, you know, fulfilling of my of my destiny. Every enemy working against the fulfilling of my destiny. Lord, deliver me from them today. Can we just cry to the Almighty God who has power to deliver you? Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Rock of Ages, we are here before you, O Lord. It is only you who can save us from our enemies. It is only you who can bail us out. It is only you who can release us from the cage and the entrapment of our enemy. We ask today, Lord Jesus, that you be merciful unto us. You fight the battle for us, Lord. And you conquer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that you deliver us from the cage of our enemies. Deliver us from the en entanglement of our enemy. Deliver us from, from the enslavement of, the, of our enemy. Deliver us, Father, from the entrapment of my, of my enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask that you do this, O oh God, and you save us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You say stop on pursuers. Stop on pursuers. Say loud and clear. Say stop on pursuers. Stop on pursuers. Of my life. Of my life. I command you to die today. I command you to die. Let's say call it loud in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every stop on pursuer, oh God, pursuing my life. I command you in the name that is above every other name. May you die today. In the name of Jesus. Who are those all of Father that are running after me for evil? Running after me, Lord God, Father, for evil. I command them to fall. As many of them that will not repent, as many of them, Lord God, Father, will not deceit from running after me for evil. Cause them, oh God, to die in the name of Jesus. Let the Almighty King of Glory ask you do so, Lord, in the name of 
Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say power and agent. Power and agent. Say to Lord, say power and agent. Power and agent. Of the devil. Of the devil. Behind my problem. Behind my problem. Be destroyed today. Be destroyed. Today. Thou power and agent. Thou power and agent. Of the devil. Of the devil. Behind my life and problem. Behind my life and problem. Be destroyed today in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed today. In Pray very well and let God rise for you. Power and agent. Behind, you know, my and troubles and my problems. Lord, I say, the Father that will destroy, Lord, destroy, 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 destroy every power, Jesus. every Father, agent Lord, of the them. devil destroy behind them. my life. Oh God, engineering my trouble, my chaos, Lord God, I face my breath, engineering my challenges. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray God, that to destroy such, in the name of Jesus, destroy the power, destroy the agent, destroy the power, destroy the agent, destroy the power, destroy the agent, destroy the power, in the name of Jesus, Christ. Destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, release us, Lord God, Father, from their case. And deliver us. In Jesus' Name we pray. Amen. Say, O oh Lord God of Israel. Oh Lord God of Israel. Bring me out of the pit of my enemy. Bring me out of the pit of my enemy. And release me to my to my Canaan land. And release me to my Shall we pray it in the name of Jesus? Our Father and our God, the devil, Lord God, we pray. My Father, my God. That to release us. Father, bail us out of the pit of the wicked ones. Release us, oh Father, to our Canaan land. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put all our enemies to shame, O oh God, and help us out from them. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we appreciate you because you are fast. In Jesus' unfailing name, have we prayed. Amen. I want to pray for you, you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Rock of Ages, we want to thank you for this opportunity again. We ask our Father in heaven, showing us who our enemies are. Lord, we ask that you don't allow our enemies to destroy us. Amen. You don't allow them to kill us pretty much. Sure. Amen. You don't allow our enemies to prevail over our life. Amen. Father, help us out. Lord Jesus, and bail us out from their cage in the name of Jesus. Amen. From the pit of the wicked ones. Amen. Lord, you release us out. Amen. You release us out. Amen. You release us out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I ask the brothers of Joseph, they, they, they put him in the pit. Lord, I ask my Father in heaven, you are the one that released this boy out of this pit of enemy. In the same vein, we are praying. God, out of our own pit, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, because you are fancy. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' unfailing name, have we prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to thank God once again for this opportunity. I pray for someone over there that your enemy will not rejoice over your life in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank you for watching us. I want to thank you sincerely for your patience. It is my prayer that are coming together every Sunday, we always and surely give the best to our life in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Pastor Bamidu Lakoma as you can see on the screen by the grace of God <clears throat> for Christian Fellowship Ministry. Uh, by the grace of God, uh, deliverance uh, and prophetic uh, normally and they always take place every first Saturday of the month. We expecting you. That of May is done, but that of June, June is very close now. First Saturday in the month of June. We expecting you there. There have been testimonies by the grace of God. You have any challenge, you have any problem, you want us to pray together? Or you think, or you see that uh, you need deliverance over any issue. The grace and the power of God is there. And many anointed deliverance ministers are there to attend to you. And by the grace of God, I know the Lord God will help you out of your trouble in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Till then we meet next week. May the Almighty God be with you all in Jesus' name. Amen.